you cute, <laughs> but do you wear SPF though? I just f your b it's a Gucci flip flops. Hey. What's good? It's your girl Kimon F and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome to the gang. Here on my channel, I make videos about fashion, skincare, and life. So if you're into any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you move on. Because to be honest, you'll be really fake if you just don't subscribe. I'm just saying. I'm still kind of on the fence about favorites videos just because like there's some months when I ain't really feeling things that much and then there's other months where there's just a whole bunch of stuff that I love so I don't want to say it's going to be monthly because I feel like I'm probably not going to do one every month but today is going to be a summer favorites video so with summer coming to a close not with summer coming to a close but summer over because clearly summer didn't even come this year I don't even understand what's good I feel like summer deadass lasted like two days this year I don't understand anyway with summer being over I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys all the things that I've been loving for like the past three months or so as usual we got skincare stuff, we got beauty stuff, we got lifestyle stuff, and we got some fashion stuff, and we just gonna hop on into it. So the first skincare product that I have to show you guys is the Ulla Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. If you watch my birthday, get ready with me, you'd have seen why I've been using this all summer, but I don't have oily skin. You do not have to have oily skin to use this. This is just one of those toners that will whip your pores like into non-existence. Like you will not even see a pore in sight when you're done using this toner. I'm not over exaggerated. Like, if you have oily skin, more power to you. This is even better because this helps to keep the oil at bay. But if you have normal skin, combination skin, whatever the case is, this will help to balance your skin and reduce the amount of oil that you spew out throughout the day. For me, I have combination skin. So in the summertime, my T-zone, like my chin and like my nose and like right here in my forehead, get a tinsy bit oily, which I don't like at all because y'all know how I feel about greasy ass skin. I just don't like it. So I tried this out earlier in the summer and I absolutely love it because it helps with that oil control for real. It has salicylic acid, which of course you guys know helps to cleanse your pores out. And it has AHAs as well, which helps with like glowy skin and all that stuff. So when you're done using this, it really helps to minimize the look of your pores and just give you a healthy glow. It's really good under makeup, good without makeup. I love this stuff. This will be my summer toner for the rest of my life. Until I find something better, of course, because, you know, I'm always looking for a new product. Alright y'all, the next skincare product that I have for you guys is Dermalogica Prisma Protect. First of all, you should be wearing SPF every damn day. I don't care what your complexion is, I don't care what your race is, your ethnicity, I don't care about none of that. You should be wearing SPF every single day, period. It's like, you cute, but do you wear SPF though? Do you wear SPF? So Dermalogica sent this to me earlier in the year when it just came out, but I didn't really use it as much because I already had like three different SPFs in my rotation and it was just kind of hard to use this because it is an SPF and a moisturizer in one. And I already had SPFs that I like and I already had moisturizers that I like. But since it was summer, I just wanted to cut down the layering with my skincare products because I'm the type of girl that will have like two different cleanses, two different toners, three different serums, two different moisturizers, and one oil. Like, that's way too much to be going out when it's so hot. Like, your skin will really be looking very greasy. Glowy and greasy is not the same thing, so I just wanted to cut it down. And because this is a moisturizer and a SPF in one, that kind of like meshed two different products together and cut down how much I had to use. What I love about this so much is the fact that it does not leave a white cast. If you're a dark skin girl, if you're a chocolate girl, if, if you're a black girl, you know the struggle when it comes to a sunscreen that leaves a nasty ass cast on your face looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost up in this joint. Like, I don't got time. So this has SPF 30, it comes out white, but it literally disappears, okay? You cannot see it and it just leaves this beautiful glow. It just leaves this beautiful glow on your skin. Like, do you see this? Dermalogica knew what they were doing, bro. Like, I use this all summer. All summer, it's literally almost done. She kind of pricey though, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> but this is a really good product and I would recommend it for people who need like an easy way to work SPF into their skincare routine. First thing that I have for you guys today is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is a tinted moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen in it. So the back says, Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer is a perfect blend of skincare and makeup. It hydrates the skin and softens fine lines with a sheer hint of color for a healthy, dewy glow. 
in the summertime, ain't nobody trying to be in no type of foundation. Like, it's too hot. Your face will be melting on the floor like a rundown ice cream in 0.5 seconds. Ain't nobody had time for that. So, throughout the summer, I was basically rocking a bare face for the most part. But on the days when I felt like I needed a little bit more something, like just like a little help, a pick-me-up or whatever, I used this. I'm in the shade 6W1. That's Mocha. It's the darkest shade that they have. But to be honest, this is so sheer that this could go for so many different skin tones. And when you put it on, it, like, it helps to blur any little imperfections that you may have but it does not give you no kind of crazy full coverage beat it just looks like your skin but better and it has SPF so I can't complain I'll just throw this on be out the top, okay it does have a dewy finish so if you're not into like that kind of glowy luminous type of finish you would not like this if you are a matte type of person you could just have to put the foundation on or like a powder foundation whatever the case is I like my skin to look really glowy though like I don't care for the whole matte situation I just like a natural finish or like a nice slightly glowy finish so this is perfect like it says it's a very sheer coverage like very sheer coverage I wouldn't even call it coverage I call it more like an enhancement so it's like moisturizer basically it does not transfer if you hug somebody like nothing's gonna come off i love it for those of you who have oily skin this one probably will not work for you but there is a oil free version that works just as well so if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer doesn't have to be summer you can use this all year round because i use it all year round you would love this one so the second and last thing for beauty products is the sol de janeiro Copa Cabana Bronze Glow Oil. It has like this bronze shimmery color. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. This is a similar product, but a lot of people didn't really like the Fenty Beauty one. They said it was too thick, it was too sticky, all of that stuff. I personally tried the Fenty Beauty one and you guys know I'm a Fenty Beauty advocate, but I did not like it at all. And I did not use a lot because people were saying that it was because people were using a lot that it was so thick and sticky. But I kid you not, I put like a toot amount of that on my skin and I still felt sticky I just didn't like how it felt on my skin so I heard that this was similar but better and I tried it and oh my god girl like this stuff is so popping they have different shades but like I said this one is the Copa Cabana bronze let me just show you guys what, what, what I'm talking about because I kid you not this stuff is so freaking oh girl like do you do you see the shoulder action I'm serving right now like so popping and it smells so damn good they have this scent in like candles and like in all their other products and it smells <sighs> i may have od'd with this but i feel like this is more for like when you're on vacation or your poolside anywhere you're gonna be showing an excessive amount of skin and you just want to look really glowy and healthy like you was just on vacation this is what you would use it for but i was using this like every day like i was stepping out the house to go to the grocery store and i was putting this on my shoulders my collarbones little cleavage or lack thereof all that stuff but yeah in terms of body shimmer i definitely have to say this is the best one i've ever ever used you don't need to go out and buy this stuff okay i won't lie to you i ain't never lied this is bomb i can't believe i'm saying this right now guys but my first lifestyle favorite is the teamy blends skinny tea i'm sure you guys have heard of teamy blends like it's all over the place you guys know all these celebrities posing up with their little tumblers and their little tea and you're like okay but does it really work though i wasn't gonna be the one to go buy it and try it because i just i just wasn't interested but the brand reached out to me and were like do you want to try our teas i'm like sure why not because for me i always want to keep it a stack with you guys so an opportunity to try it myself and then let you guys know what the real tea is no pun intended sounded like a good idea so they sent me their 30-day detox the detox comes with two teas the skinny tea and the colon tea colon tea is the one that makes you go to the bathroom that one works really well as well but the reason I love this one so much is because of the energy that you get like I'm the type of girl that will wake up and still be mad tired and I just don't like that I'm not a coffee drinker I'm a tea person so this kind of takes the place of coffee for someone who needs that extra energy throughout the day or in the morning whatever the case is they also sent me this cute white tumbler so how it is it is a loose tea so you put the tea well you insert this part right here into the cup you put your tea in there pour in your hot water close it and then just kind of like let it steep because it steeps for however long you want the longer you steep it the stronger the flavor i just have mine with some honey and that's it and when i tell you it really does give me energy i can't like i can't even make this up quick disclaimer though i'm not out here claiming to say that this stuff made me lose weight but i will say that when i did the detox i definitely did drop a few because of the fact that it was a colon cleanse like a colon cleanse it's gonna make you shit. it's 
It's releasing all the toxins that have been in your body for however long. It's gonna help reduce the water weight and stuff like that because bloating and stuff has a lot to do with your overall body weight and how full you look on some days or how flat you look on some days. Bloating and water weight has a lot to do with that. So I would say it is a good system to start your weight loss journey with. Like I think detoxing is always a good thing to do every once in a while. But like I said, it is very effective if you don't like things that are gonna make you use the bathroom then I don't know what to tell you because that's the only way it's gonna get out. Like, that's just how it goes. But as far as the skinny tea, it definitely gets the job done in terms of energy. And I will say it also helps with the bloating because like you have a cup of tea first thing in the morning, it's gonna help with bloating regardless. But this and the fact that it gives me energy, it's something I'll definitely keep like in my morning routine. All right, so the next lifestyle favorites that I have for you guys are the Ali vitamins. Yo, I can't take pills for nobody. Like, I just suck at swallowing pills. I'll be feeling like I'm gonna throw up. I'll be feeling like I'm about to die. Like I can't, I just can't do it. This summer I was just like, I need to get my life together and start taking vitamins again because vitamins are good for you. I don't really eat vegetables like that. I don't really eat fruits like that. So I know that I'm deficient in a lot of stuff. So I'm like, all right, I need vitamins. All Ollie vitamins are freaking gummy vitamins, okay? So you can understand why I wanted to try them. They taste literally like candy. There has not been a day from since I started taking these vitamins that I skipped a day because I'm literally excited to go downstairs and chew these shits up. I have the women's multivitamin. I have the extra strength probiotics. I also have the daily energy because like I said, you guys, I'd be so tired. I don't know what it is. I just think it's gonna help me with some energy. I got the stress vitamin and I got the sleep vitamins so as far as the daily energy the probiotics and the multis you're not gonna really feel results like that like that because it's not something that's really gonna change how you feel but rather give you the nutrients that you need but I will say that the sleep vitamins definitely have been helping me to fall asleep I don't take them every night because sometimes I'm actually tired and I know I'm gonna fall asleep but other nights when my mind is like racing and is mad shit just going through my head I'll take two of these and I'm literally asleep in less than an hour. I guess they got the blend right because this stuff works. Also I have taken the stress one I think like three different times and it does help you to relax. It's not magic like it's not going to make you forget what's going on in your life but it does really help you to relax. I would recommend taking these like right before reading a book or right before doing like a yoga practice or something like that and it really does help to keep you just like, you know, calm. Kind of like if you were taking like, you know, some medical marijuana, similar thing in a gummy vitamin form. So yeah, I will say that the women's multi was my least favorite one. I would say I don't like it because I actually do still like it, but it's my least favorite because I don't know, every gummy vitamin that I've tried that has been a multivitamin, it's never that amazing and I think it's just because of the blend of vitamins that they have to put in there to give you the nutrients that you need but this is definitely not bad it's definitely not bad because I would not be able to eat it so yeah I mean if you're looking for some vitamins that you could take every day not have to worry about those nasty ass pills every vitamin that they have is a chewable form they have mad different stuff they have things for hair skin and nails they have things for focus like basically everything that you may think of that you may need help with they have a vitamin for it. Definitely recommend Ollie Vitamins. The last on my list for lifestyle products is the Health-ish water bottle. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I have been raving about this bottle because I freaking love it so damn much. It is plastic. It's like a frosted plastic, so it almost looks like frosted glass, so it makes the bottle look really expensive, especially with this gold top. But what I love about it the most is it has like the little time guidelines on the sides of the bottle. So it helps you to consume more water if you're a person that doesn't really drink enough water. So it has two sides. There's like the morning side and the afternoon side. So the morning side goes from full to 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m., then refill. And then the other side goes from full to 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and then refill. One full bottle of this is one liter. So like the equivalent to a smart water or an essential water. And by the end of the day, you would have had two liters, not one because it has the refill. But yeah, the bottle is mad cute. You put it in your gym bag, throw it in your work bag, keep it at your desk when you're at work, whatever the case is. Just seeing it there makes you want to actually drink and keep up with the timestamps on it. I know it's corny, but it actually does help. I'm not particularly a person that struggles with drinking water, but the thing with me is that I don't really pace myself. Like, I'll drink the whole liter at one time, then drink another liter the other time. And I rather pace myself because it helps you to limit the amount of time that you go to the bathroom. I will put the link to this bottle in my description box, just like everything else will be linked below. I wish I had a code for you guys, like a discount code, but I don't. So I might reach out to the company and see if they can give me a code to give to you guys. But until then, um, yeah, it will be in the description box. Maybe by the time the video goes up, there'll be a code. I don't know. Let's just hope for the best. 
My first fashion favorites that I have been absolutely loving this summer are my Gucci Blooms flip flops. I'm not 100% sure what the retail price is because these actually were gifted to me for my birthday last year. But the reason I chose to put these in my favorites is because, I don't know, for some reason, even though they have a print, they go with everything. And this summer, I've literally been slipping them on with everything like jeans dresses biker shorts ev like everything they're so well made they're mad comfortable and of course like they don't look like manly slides they look like feminine slides so i think that's why i love them so much and i don't know maybe it's personal maybe i just love them because they were given to me by someone very special but whatever the case is i just have been wearing these to and I just think they complement everything, so why not? I think for the most part during the summer, every female needs a nice pair of slides because they're easy to just throw on, go out the door, and still look cute. So that brings me to my next favorites, which are the Nike Sage Low Air Force Ones. Everybody loves Air Force Ones, okay? Like, if you don't like Air Force Ones, I'm almost wrong with you. They're classic, they look good with everything. But these in particular have like that creeper bottom, so they're a little higher. Let me see if I can turn my ring light down to show you guys. So the bottom is like thicker. It has this nice blush beige kind of pink upper suede. I'm sure you guys can barely see the details on these, but they just look so feminine. Because they have that traditional Air Force One cut, they just go with everything. So I found myself wearing them a lot this summer. Jeans, again, dresses. It could be a tight dress. It could be a loose dress. It could be baggy jeans. It could be tight jeans. It could be denim shorts anything those sneakers literally look mad good with everything they come in a whole bunch of colors but um these ones in particular like i said they have a nice feminine color to them so they don't look as sneakerish like if you're not a sneakerhead and you don't like to really wear certain kicks that just look too sneakerheadish i guess those are good because they're very refined and they look very classic all right so my last fashion favorites are the american eagle curvy mom jeans Y'all, these jeans literally changed my life. I've been looking for mom jeans that actually fit my body type for at least three years or four years, bro. Like, I, I'm not even joking. And all of them always just, they're just too tight in the legs. It's like, you want them to fit baggy, but you want them to fit your waist. And you gotta size up OD for it to pass your butt and your legs. Then once you get it on your waist, it's mad puckery. Like, it just doesn't flatter you. All types of stuff. Like, who knew finding mom jeans would have been that hard? So, these are actually pretty new by American Eagle. They always had mom jeans, but now these are the curvy mom jeans. So, they're specifically made for people that have, you know, more in the leg and the booty department, but they still have, like, a smaller waist. These literally fit like a dream. These ones here have a little stretch to them. I also have the ripped denim pier. These ones don't have stretch to them, but you really don't even need it anyway because they fit the way they're supposed to. Like, they're baggy, but they fit your waist. I've been wearing them, like, all the time. If I'm running out the house to run errands, to go to a bar, to go anywhere, I was putting those jeans on all summer. I like the fact that they're baggy. I just always wanted baggy jeans because I could get away with wearing a really small skimpy top and then wearing those jeans and bringing it back down not looking like a whole hoochie i did not have to size up in these jeans for them to fit so if you're naturally a size five and you get a size five it's gonna fit baggy if you're naturally a size six it's gonna fit baggy i'm a size six i got a size six and it fits the way it's supposed to i will not buy any other mom jeans because these are perfect i'm not sure if they have other washes because like i said i only have this one right here which is just like plain it doesn't have anything on the legs and then I have these that are ripped. These actually didn't exactly come like this though. They had like patches underneath the ribs that I just went in and took out because I wanted the skin to show, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why they would have the ribs patched up, but I'm not about that life. You know, if I have ripped jeans, I want my skin to show through the ribs. So I just took it out, but anybody could do that. It's not hard. And yeah, I promise you, you will not go wrong with these jeans. If you need mom jeans or if you're looking for mom jeans and they have all been fitting like garbage, I guarantee you will love these. All right guys, that's it for my favorites video. What I'd actually like for you guys to do is do me a favor and comment and let me know if you guys actually enjoy the favorites videos. If you do, I will try to do these every month. But if you don't, I'll only do them maybe like this, like seasonally, so summer, winter, fall, spring, or um, maybe like every few months, just depending, like every quarter maybe. But just let me know if you guys actually like them, if you find them informative, if you find things that you like and stuff like that. As usual, I always say, if you haven't already done so, please, please, please do me a favor and go follow me on Instagram. My handle is at TimoneF. Help your girl out because Instagram's algorithm has been playing me. Like Instagram in general has been playing me and it's making me feel like I don't want to really post on there that much. 
However, I'm always on my stories on Instagram and I interact with my followers a lot on Instagram. So make sure you follow me to keep up with me over there when I'm not posting videos here on YouTube. Also, since you're already here, you might as well just subscribe. I always tell you guys, I think it's mad fake if you're gonna pull up here and be watching my videos, getting all these gems that I'm dropping and not subscribing, that's really crazy. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay blessed, stay lit, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.